So now what we're going to look at adding the developer tab to your ribbon and also we're going to look at the VBA editor as well. Okay. We don't actually need this document open but we'll leave it open for the time being. Now just to get to the customized ribbon right click in a blank area of the ribbon and then select customize ribbon or you can do file options and then click on customize ribbon here. Okay and then in the right pane, you'll find developer down here. Just place a tick in the checkbox and then click on OK and then the developer tab will show. Click on developer and then click on the visual basic button and this will bring you into the visual basic interface. Now you may or may not see this. Um, you might see this or you might see this, okay? It doesn't really matter. However, you do need the project explorer pane open. So click on view click on Project Explorer. Now you'll see a list of files on the left side here, depending on what files you have open. Now I have Test Video, Test Rust Video 2. If I close that now and then come back to the editor, then you'll see that we don't actually have that in here anymore. And this is an add-in that I use occasionally. And what, what's important to us here is this normal. Now, the normal template in Word is Word's default template. When you first open Word and you get this blank document, that blank document is based on the normal template, okay? And the normal template is so important to Word that if it can't find it, it will create a new one from its basic default um, styles and everything, okay? So this is what we need to change to make sure that we can use this save file name with all our, our Word documents, okay? Now, if I double click on this document, I get this code window up here. We don't want to insert our code into this document because we want it to apply to all documents, okay? So click on normal, then click on insert, and then we want to insert a module. And the first module by default will be named module one, okay? And then in the pane here is our code window. Now, you can see a save file name code.txt file, and then what you need to do is select all, copy it, control C, come back here, and then paste, okay? And if in the drop down arrow up here, and you click on it to drop down, you'll see we've got save new file name, show doc information panel. Show doc information panel is this one, but the main routine, subroutine is this one here, and this actually calls that document information panel, okay? Um, now, as I explained in an earlier video, we declared the variables, but I've commented out this particular variable here, okay? So that when I click on debug compile, we're going to get an error message, okay? So this tells me there's something wrong with the code. However, when I remove that comment, debug compile, everything's good now. Everything's running, the code's all okay, and Word or VBA can't find anything wrong with it, which is exactly what we need. Now we need to save this to normal. Now I'm gonna save Control S like this, click on the button, that's my normal.m save. Now there's a chance that your normal.m might be protected or something, or it won't allow you to overwrite it. So what you then need to do is save the file as normal. 1m normal 1.m dot, dot or normal 2 3 even with your own name okay it doesn't really matter as long as you can recognize it normal over right dot, dot m like that whatever you want to call it okay it really really doesn't matter um, as long as you can find it when, when we need to in a moment okay so i'm going to save my normal dot, dot m and again like i say that's without any actual file open in Word itself. Now, your Word templates path will be this, C colon backslash, this is the default path, okay? So this is what you'll need to do is you'll need to replace your name here with your actual username. Now I'm logged in as a test user on this PC. I have various users and I'm going to open up a new the uh, Explorer pane, paste that in like so. And here I come to my list of templates. Now you've probably not got as many as I have. However, 
when you look down here, normal.m, okay? Now, if I try and delete that, bear in mind I've still got Microsoft Word open. Now, when I try and delete it, it won't let me delete it, and that's probably what's gonna happen with you, okay? So, what I'm just quickly gonna do is close Word, and then before I delete that, I'm just gonna copy and then paste. So it should, when I refresh, Give me a copy of normal dot dot m. Why didn't it do that? There we go, normal, just in case, okay? And then, now words done, I can delete it, okay? So now we don't actually have a normal dot dot m, but like I mentioned before, word needs this. Word has to have a normal dot dot m. So when I open up a new template, now you probably didn't notice my styles and what have you before, but this is the normal template. Now, if I close Word down and go back to this, you can see there you go, it recreates normal dot dot m 19 kilobytes on my machine, okay? Whereas the normal dot dot, the normal copy I made was 34. And again, like I say, what you need to do is you need to delete this and then rename the one that you say as normal dot dot m, okay? Now this is the one Word will look for and Word will find. And this is the one based on my style set as I had before, okay? So this, this is the style set for this. More importantly, when I go to Developers Visual Basic, there's my code in there, okay? And in the next video, we'll look at adding the macros to a button on your toolbar, okay?